G'day, I'm Gary Pike. Okay, look, I don't want to flood you with absolutely everything there is to know about the new Cartoon Animator 5.2 update on day one. That's not true. I absolutely do want to flood you with everything. I want to show you everything I've done. I've waited nine months to talk about this. I am so excited. Uh, I want to show you everything it does, but we'll get to that over the next couple of days so I don't just dump everything on you at once. But something occurred to me today that I really wanted to show you to show you the power of this software. Do you remember yesterday I posted the video of Larry Stickman uh, flying his drone, this video? Okay, when I made that video, I had to keyframe all the movement of the drone as it flies around because I made that video before the update was re officially released. But now that the CTA 5.2 update is released and we now have the motion pilot making that drone fly around, where it took me about 45 minutes to do that, I could do that today in about 20 seconds. And I really just wanted to show you because it gives you an idea of the power of motion pilot and the, the flexibility and the speed that you're going to be able to work out now. So let's just quickly run over to Cartoon Animator 5, 5.2 and I'll show you how it can be done. So here we are in the project file of Larry Stickman flying his drone. And you'll see, here's the drone, here's the transform timeline for the drone. Here are all the keyframes that I put in manually to get the drone to follow this flight path. So when I play it and we get to each of the different keyframes, that's how the, the drone was able to fly around. Now I had to put all of those keyframes in individually it took me about 45 minutes it occurred to me today that with motion pilot you can do this in about 20 seconds what i've done let's get rid of that drone we don't want it now let's get rid of it go away bye bye let's bring in our other drone here we have the drone just completely static if we play nothing's happening it's not moving if we open the motion pilot menu and scroll to the top and then we've got face cursor highlighted which means that as i move the mouse the sprite will change direction and i'm also going to put in some move amplitude on the wave so that the drone will move on its own when i'm not moving the mouse so let's bring that down to about say four Let's bring that down to about four. So it'll move left and right, up and down a little bit. And we'll keep the loop duration at around about 250 so that you'll get a little bit slower uh, um, motion when I'm not touching the mouse. If I hit preview now and hit the space bar, you'll see the drone will just hover there like that. All I would have to do now is to go back to the beginning. When I hit record, I can move the drone around in real time by dragging the mouse around on the screen and I get to puppet the drone around in real time instead of having to keyframe it. So let's just do that. Here we go. We hit record. When we hit the space bar, we are now piloting the drone around. We have total control over what the drone does. And it's that simple. You can do it over and over and over until you're happy with the end result. You just keep going back to the first frame, record it again, do it again. Eventually, you get the motion to exactly where you want and you do it in real time. And as you saw there, it took, what, 20 seconds to do it. Cartoon Animator 5.2 is amazing. Motion Pilot is amazing. Go and have fun with it. I'll see you for some more videos. Bye now.